Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Ekalavya Paintings. Greetings everyone and um, certainly glad that you could join me today here on this uh, wonderful video session, the painting that I'm going to do today. Um, it's basically going to be a, a flower vase, uh, not a vase, basically a glass uh, with, uh, with one or two roses um, in this. Um, it's basically going to be on uh, oil painting um, and I have already done some pre-work here uh, just to save some time. Alright, my name is Sridhar Ranganathan and you can call me Sridhar. Um, thanks for joining in and uh, let me introduce my canvas and my palette here. Uh, canvas is a standard um, 18 by 24 um, cotton canvas double primed um, completely gessoed, dried up um, and um, what I've done here is some uh, acrylic uh, base okay so this is going to be an oil painting on top of um, acrylic um, the base acrylic base is completely uh, dried up um, and um, I just given some uh, uh, you know um, highlights um, uh, to show that this is like kind of a wall, um, a old house wall, and this is like a floor, yeah. Um, and um, on top of this, uh, what I've done is I have covered this with a very thin coat of uh, oil uh, because I'll be going to use oil paints. Okay, um, so let's get started with uh, the palette. Okay, um, here's my custom palette and um, here are the colors. Um, beautiful palette today with uh, very vibrant colors. Um, this is uh, um, ivory black, uh, magenta, um, this is rose, sap green, um, yellow deep, um, titanium white and this is uh, zinc white. Um, these are two different whites. This is uh, titanium white and this is uh, um, zinc white. Zinc white is a uh, uh, transparent color and uh, titanium white is uh, opaque. Okay, I'll show you the difference when I uh, put zinc versus titanium in my painting. Uh, I've also put some oil in my palette and um, you know, you can see it's flowing. Okay. Um, my brush I'm going to use today is uh, uh, Princeton series. Um, this is uh, uh, Princeton uh, Velvet Touch series. Um, and this is a mixed media brush. Yeah. Uh, my painting is also mixed media with acrylic on the base and oil on the top. Um, brush is also mixed media. Not necessarily you should use uh, this, but I find it most comfortable for floral paintings. Um, and nature stuff uh, with this brush yeah this is a half an inch uh, wash um, and um, this is velvet touch series um, the other brush that I'm going to use is um, also Princeton velvet touch um, and this is um, angle um, angle brush yeah this is 3 by 8 um, angle shader um, and um, this is one of the uh, I would say versatile, um, sweetest and, uh, you know, the brush that I use the most. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, these are the primary two brushes. Uh, I think I might use one or two brushes um, here and there. I'll let you know. Uh, but primarily you just need uh, two brushes, one flat, uh, one angular. All right. Um, so let's get started. Um, what I've done here in my uh, canvas is a little sketch here you can see here um, the sketch of um, a glass um, you know just to ensure that the glass is straight right uh, I mean if I start just putting it it, it it may not be really straight yeah so so just a pencil sketch of, uh, of a straight glass and uh, let's first draw the outliers of where your um, rose is going to be uh, I plan to I plan to paint um, maybe maybe one or two roses, yeah, with a bud, 
um, in this glass so this is a small glass glass vase um, yeah all right so the first and foremost is uh, let's block the positions of the roses uh, where you want them yeah so as you can see here this is a light pink rose um, I'm just thinning it down with a little titanium white okay just to get the shape of the rose yeah uh, I plan to put one rose somewhere here so that is going to be here like this yeah pretty good um and then there's going to be one more rose um somewhere falling here seeing top so it is going to be here like this yeah and then there's going to be one bud somewhere here yeah so that bud is something like this, like this yeah so this rose is basically going to see that that way so it's like this yeah and this is seeing the other way around okay so this will give you a basic idea of how your roses are going to look like and where and what you need to do yeah um how we will proceed on this is um, um basically with any floral painting you need to position the flowers first um, and then um, next is um, give some uh, uh backgrounds for it yeah the twigs and leaves and whatever um and then the next step is probably the vase the vase will be the last okay and the final step uh, let's see how it goes okay um let's uh let's mix the base of the rose with some um, titanium white um uh, very pink color okay um Okay, so this is very pink, um, and uh, you can always uh, add more magenta to it if required. Yeah. Okay, so take some crisscross strokes. Um, always ensure that all your filling is going towards the stem. Yeah. So your cadilla is going to be here. The rose cadilla is going to be here. Um, so all these colors are going towards the stem like this. Yeah. So let's start blocking it. Um, just a flat blocking of your yeah. Um, it has to be regular. Um, don't try to get it as a uh, always as a round shape or uh, you know very straight. Um, roses are not like that. Um, it has to be irregular yeah that's how the nature is but uh, but 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 yeah it needs to be beautiful yeah so that's it um it's blocked yeah uh this is direct uh out of the paint um i'm using oil paints um so this is coming no medium added yeah just medium just a touch of a medium in my brush but not directly to the paint um, the medium is again an oil um, you can use uh, linseed oil um, or stand oil or even safflower oil all right so i'm just blocking this um, all right um the base is done yeah this is the base of the rose the base is done um i hope you can see this properly now okay so the base is done um okay the next step is um you know after the base uh, basically the rose contains uh, i would say three circles uh, the one is the center circle of the rose 
Uh, the other one is the bottom circle or also called as cup of the rose and then the third one is the outer circle yeah um, for um, center circles we'll just use a bit of a dark color uh, same brush um, not washed just mixing the dark color and um, the center of the rose is somewhere here yeah this center um, then what I can do is um, the, the cup of the rose that is your second circle okay and then comes your outside outside um, you don't give dark colors we'll just blend it with the light color yeah. okay now goes the second rose again some dark color here assuming this is the outer center of the rose yeah maybe some touches here i have it in my brush and then the cup of the bottom portion of the rose yeah um what i usually do is um i blend the outside uh, edges of these dark colors yeah the 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 the, the cup of this and um, i use a smooshing brush for that yeah um, you can call it as a blender you can call it as a smoosh um, yeah this is uh, a smooshing brush from rosemary and uh, medium size rosemary um, this is a badger hair of course um, synthetic um, and this is uh, very good to you know basically smudge or smoosh or you know basically take out your rough edges so let's smoosh them and ensure that they blend with you know the outside you see that Okay, so just small swills and turns on the outside ones and they easily blend. Okay, I'm okay with this shape. Um, why we blend those is, um, you know, um, we don't want sharp edges right uh, rose does not have a sharp edge um, it has to be um, you know smooth um, the petals needs to needs to come out really smooth and nicely yeah so that's the that's the smooshing okay job well done okay the next step here let's um, look into the outside uh, of the roses let's leave the roses for now okay um let's um let's let's pack it for now uh, fill up the outside layers of it basically your leaves and twigs um and i have taken the angular brush um i basically jump into the sap green yeah um and this needs to be mixed with a little bit of medium um so let's mix that and have enough painting um sorry enough paint on my brush sufficient enough paint on my brush yeah okay uh we can mix a bit of red and that will become like dark green okay let's first um block the twigs and then um we will see the leaves okay so definitely yeah um there's going to be one here so i use the corner of this uh angle brush and uh, there you go okay this is the other one okay um there's going to be as i said there's going to be a bud here somewhere so 
probably crossing like this. Yeah. Um, and then now comes your spaces for leaves. Um, draw a leaf here. Probably a leaf here. One here. You can draw one here. Yeah. Draw one more here. Never mind, guys. I'm just, um, you know, blocking some um, parts. Um, I mean, of course, we can uh, change it. Um, need not be too accurate. Yeah. And um, they can be um, some one or more uh, tricks uh, with some leaves. All right, let's uh, do this and then see if, um, if need be, we can add more uh, tricks and leaves. Okay, now the time to add some leaves. Um, simple, straightforward leaves um, with, um, you know, with a simple vertical motion. All right, these leaves goes down like this. So this one goes up here, this one goes down, okay. Same way here, let's add some leaves here. I'm adding a mix of a um, bit of uh, red pinch to this so that you know there is a color variation always. I'll also be adding um, yellow deep sometime. Um, so you know, you see this. Um, so there is a bit of um, yellow pinch. Yeah, great. Okay, this is dark area, so let's give some um, light color leaves. Otherwise, um, they won't be seen up. See, um, basically you lighten the, you take the, take the base of the yellow, um, take a bit of green and uh, titanium white, yeah. I still not use the zinc white, um, I'll tell you when to use that, uh, but this will give you a different, you know, yeah, so take that. Use a, use, a, use a strike of red, yeah. See that? Okay, um, some more leaves here. Okay, and this needs to be dark, so we'll take a darker red okay so yeah so the way in which this 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 works is um 
strike the color and then push it off yeah strike and push strike and push strike and push it depends on which way you're pushing it push yeah yeah simple way simple and easy way to you know uh, plug in some leaves yeah so i think uh, this is uh, pretty good um let's fill in some more here um and uh, yeah okay now let's do some um, cadilla of the rose um that's basically the bottom bottom portion of this and that will be somewhere like this yeah See that okay um then let's give one bud here as i was saying earlier that bud will come out of this branch and that bud is going to be let's mark the shape of the bud okay Okay, and um, let's give a light outer layer, and then the leaf covering that. Okay, uh, time to give some um, tones. Um, so let's add a bit of black and this maroon. Let's hit and pull. Hit and pull. as well um all right let's um thicken this All right, guys. Um, now let's uh, jump into the rose. Um, I think we're done with the done with the stems and uh, the leaves. They look. Um, I think they look pretty good. Um, let's jump to the rose and um, let's see how it comes out. Okay. Um, so what I've done is uh, same old. Uh, uh, you know, the brush that I use to block the colors. Um, and this uh, and there is a pretty light color which I have uh, mixed up okay so you can see here put in white it's light yeah okay so what we're going to do is um, we'll start with the inner edge uh, to find where the internal petals are going to be first after the inner edge we'll jump to the outer edge um, showing the outer petals and then we will go to the center or, or or rather the middle one yeah not the center the middle 
um, so the inner edge is going to be somewhere here so if this is going to be the rose um, center then your inner edge is going to be somewhere here yeah so this is what it's going to be yeah um and then goes your um, second one yeah um now what i need to do is this is your second inner so and this will be your center portion of it yeah okay um now i'll go to the side petals and see how my side petals are coming up okay i take the stroke with the side of it okay same side petals bit of variations on my colors okay and for the outside ones then go it as the outside fillers yeah okay now what we do is now we go to the zinc white yeah as I said, zinc white is transparent and um, this will help you to define the edge of the petal. Okay, so now you go here. Okay, you see that? Um, so what did I do? Um, paint on my brush, yeah. So simple zinc white okay I hit and come back yeah um, I hit come back that gives me two petals there yeah so hit and come back okay Now let's go to the outer edge um, from imagine imagine the imagine the petals of a rose how they are built yeah um, the best way is uh, to learn how the petals are there is basically um, talk to the rose yeah yeah i'm not i'm not kidding um talk to the rose um see how they are built um see um how the petals would look like you know uh, talk to them um learn um how 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 it looks like yeah okay um the outer edges will be light in color um the inner edges will be um, the dark petals coming in um, the cup will be super dark of the rose yeah um, so all that I'm doing here is as you can see um, I'm just building um, layers after layer after layer of the rose yeah so layer in the sense petal after petal um so outside edge goes out to end inside edge goes you know the top layer goes from outside to end like this yeah so yeah and um somewhere you believe there should be a dark composition coming in uh, uh, then uh, just take some dark color and uh, uh, so, and just um, fill it up.
yeah so this is my dark color isn't that a pretty looking rose um i think it's pretty um give me a comment yeah okay let's build one more petal here you can build as many petals as you want as you like yeah um but it depends on uh where you are building those petals how your petals are looking like yeah so um it's 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 blooming this way yeah so it's blooming this way so these are your outer petals and the other ones are coming from inner side yeah all right i think uh, we're done with this um let's go to the second rose uh same way it's it's basically just the mirror one yeah on the other side of it so we take the light color um we first see uh, we first block it and see where it falls so the center one goes here something like this and then something like this yeah uh, you don't have to really do this uh, i'm just um, showing you um, it's easy if you do this yeah um and then after this is your other sides of the rose yeah then comes your outer ones like this yeah something like this and your outside ones okay um so you take your um, zinc white that is where what zinc white does is it's as i said it's um it's um transparent white so um it will show up um um any color that is there behind it without much changing the tint of the color yeah so as you can see um i can still see the pinkness of this color without being much changed yeah so that's the whole idea um you can also do it with um, titanium white if you don't have zinc white um but just ensure that you know you have pretty much more dark colors behind because titanium white will change the opacity so um you will start uh i mean if you start building a pink rose you will find a baby pink rose <laughs> yeah so it, it basically changes your changes the color yeah um this is much uh, better mm. when compared to uh, titanium white uh, one other thing is um, sometimes your uh, paint may not stick to the base of the rose yeah um, I faced it many times uh, goodness gracious it's um it's going it's gelling well um so the problem is there um you have too much bottom paint yeah the base paint is too much um so what you can do is basically remove those base paints take a take a paper towel and um remove the base um or Another way is uh, add more medium um, to your um, top layer. So a thin paint will stick to a thick paint. So if there is too much paint on the bottom, um, then add more medium or take a paper towel and remove the bottom paint. Uh, you can try both um if you don't want to remove it if you already started painting your top layer and you're not getting it 
um, in best way is add more uh, medium medium is uh, oil yeah so linseed oil all right i think um, this is pretty good and um, i think our rolls are done okay the next step is um, let's go to the vase um the glass the glass vase of it that should be the last part all right um now we have come to the last section of this uh, painting which is basically the glass vase um right um and uh, um what we do here is um, basically uh, we fill this vase with uh, you know some three fourth water here um, and then um, this side is going to be a bit more darker or shaded because it's the base of the vase or the glass um, same as this this side is going to be lighter okay so it's much more filling up with bit of white and of course it's it, it needs to be transparent right because um, <clears throat> will be seen through um, you'll also have to fill up something here uh, with some uh, twigs and leaves um, so we'll do the base and then we will try to you know cover up this with some leaves um, all that I'm going to take now is let me wash the brush um, I brush I, 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 I wash the brush with uh, um, or less um, thinner um, since it's oil you can't wash it with water okay um, I take um, titanium white let's take the plain white um, and begin shading it and then let's move to the zinc okay so this is um, plain white um, the same um, half inch brush <clears throat> and let's block the outliers yeah so um you don't have to completely block it with white because um, as i said it's uh, um glass right so it is um, basically seen through yeah so all that i'm doing now is just giving it an uh, outside shape Okay, um, now that we are given the outside shape of it, um, let's give some inside um, shadows of our roses. The shadows will be seen here. <clears throat> yeah. And also here on the back of this waist. Yeah. These are some shadows, um, some green, some white. Yeah. All right. Now for the water. Um, okay, let me wash my brush. I want a clean brush. Okay wipe off the excess okay so with a clean brush grab some um, titanium white um not sorry uh, the zinc white the transparent one okay uh, just a little and let's give some um, indication of um, the water yeah um just cut this cut the stems across um that will give you the 
indication, yeah. Let's get the white. And the white, yeah, and um, Just move it as gently as you can, yeah. And then also in the bottom portion. As swift as gently as you can. Um, just a light feather touch. Yeah. Okay. I grab some uh, pink, mix it with white. All right, the bottom portion can be a bit darker, so let me get a tinge of black and let's see how it goes. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. It goes to the side of it. Okay. Something in the, something in the bottom. Yeah. Um. Now we can see that you know you're kind of getting a feel. Um, like it's a glass glass bottle right um let's fill this portion also with some of the dark colors i'm just using the same palette same colors no extra anything added um so yeah and uh, take one line across you can't mess up with this this is just one time yeah and if you mess it up, then gone. <laughs> Don't worry guys. Um, if you mess it up, then again put your green lines and then again put your cross. Simple. Yeah. Um, so, it's all okay. It's all, uh, you know, lesson learned. Everything is, everything is okay. All right. Uh, let's give a little tinge of to the outside edge okay okay I hope you can see this a nice glass bottle all right um, we need to fill this portion because it's back side of the bottle and not there as I said so let's go to our angle brush and um, let's make some uh, green and basically fill it up with uh, one more twig yeah uh, the twig might be coming up from here uh, something like this yeah and um, we need um, leaves um, let's take the same same mix here what I had earlier and just add some additional leaves here let's mix some red now yeah, yeah. that is more good I like that I like that all right Oh, 
right. That looks pretty good. All right, folks. I think uh, that is it for uh, this painting. Um, I'm going to um, say the painting is done. Um, complete. Um, looks good to me. Okay, folks. Um, I hope you enjoyed my painting. Um, it's a whole painting. Um, and um, in case you enjoyed my painting, uh, do like to um, you know like uh, and subscribe my channel Ekalavia Paintings. Um, have a great um, evening and rest of your day. Um, thanks, everyone. Ciao.